What's up, my name is Tech Number here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. So previously I made a guide touching on the details of migrating your account from Minecraft to a Microsoft account. It got a ton of questions, a ton of feedback, and of course at the time I wasn't really able to show you how it worked. I was only able to outline the steps as I hadn't got access to it quite just yet. Now that I have access, I'll be showing you how to actually migrate your account from Minecraft to Microsoft, how to log into it after migration, and most importantly, how to activate your cape once you've claimed it. So in the description down below, you'll need to head across to minecraft.net. You'll find a link there. When you get to minecraft.net, in the top right, all you need to do is click login and fill in your details down here as we still have a Mojang account. When you eventually do migrate it, you'll be using the sign in with Microsoft button up here. And there we go, we've now signed into the Minecraft website and as you can see, it's time to move. I now have access to it. Simply clicking this button over here and following these simple steps will migrate my account from Minecraft to Microsoft. So after clicking the button, you'll see this over here. Let's make sure it's really you. All you need to do is click get code and you receive an email to the email address associated with your account. You can find out what email it is by looking in the top right of this web page. Heading across to your email, you'll receive an email with a simple code in it. Paste it in and then click submit and start migration. Then you'll be asked to log into a Microsoft account over here. All you need to do is make sure that you log into the correct Microsoft account that you'd like linked to your Minecraft account. Do note that if you already own Minecraft on your Microsoft account, I don't think you get another copy free that you can give to a friend. In fact, they just merged together and you ended up paying for the game twice where you only get to own it once after migrating. So if you already have it, you may need to create a second Microsoft account and give your original one to say a friend. Though of course, only the one that you migrate will have the cape inside of it. I don't own Minecraft on any of my Microsoft accounts, so I'll simply sign into one here. After signing in and confirming your account, you'll see this. Time to move your skins, creations, and everything else to your Microsoft account. Then it shows your Microsoft Gamer tag over here. Do note that this won't be changing your Minecraft username, it's just showing you your Microsoft Gamer tag. After this, you'll access your data and play Minecraft Java Edition with your Microsoft account. If you want to move your Mojang account to a different Microsoft account, go back to your profile. This is the last chance that you'll get to do this. So if you signed into the wrong account, make absolutely sure now. Then click complete move once you're happy. There we go. We've now moved our account successfully. Now that we're signed in, you can see profile name is Techno as it was before and account information just shows my Xbox gamer tag, which is over here. We can change account settings on Microsoft.com. It simply takes you across to your Microsoft account. Then to activate your cape, all you need to do is log into the Minecraft.net website and on the left hand side, click the skin button. Then scroll down to the bottom of this page and you'll see change your cape PC slash Mac. We'll be selecting the migrator cape. Then migrator cape selected, we're done here. Awesome. Though one thing I haven't touched on is how do you log into your account now that you've migrated it? Well, I'll simply log out to show you. When you get to the Minecraft website, click login up here and then click sign in with Microsoft as logging in with your old account details will result in nothing. As you can see, account has been migrated to a Microsoft account. Please log into your Microsoft account by clicking sign in with Microsoft above. So that's exactly what we'll be doing instead. After entering your Microsoft email here, then password and signing in, you'll be taken back to the Minecraft.net website. And there we go. In the top right, you'll now notice that you're seeing your Xbox gamer tag instead of your account email. That's basically one of the things that's changed now. But what about the launcher? How do we log into that? Well, you'll need to log into it again because we've now basically changed our account information. So opening up the launcher, you can see I've now been logged out. Don't panic. Click go back at the bottom add account, and then you'll need to click Microsoft login. You'll no longer be able to log into that other profile that's here. You'll need to create a new one. So Microsoft login, you'll be taken across to a website in another window, and you'll need to sign in here. Now that we've logged in, you'll eventually be taken across to a page like this, where I'll click let's go, and my account's now been added to the Minecraft launcher. In the top left, you'll see my gamer tag, and if I click it, you'll see the other accounts on my computer. Note that the old Mojang account over here of mine will no longer work. You can click view all accounts, find the other account here, click the three dots next to it, followed by remove account so that it is no longer shown in your launcher. After doing that, heading back to the Java edition page, you'll see that you can play the game pretty much as usual. From here, 
nothing else has really changed, you'll still have your username. It's just showing differently in the top left. You'll see your correct username in the bottom right over here next to the play button. But anyways, that's about it for this video. Thank you for watching. My name has been Techno Behavior Troubleshoot and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.